Welcome to LP Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Cool. Yeah. Staring at me. <laughs> it's looking right at her. My very first Laker. They're huge. <laughs> I love them because they look like. The best eating fish out there. Yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of these great adventures. It's going to be an epic one. I want to show you real quick here. I should have showed it yesterday, uh, but this right here is beaver. This is beaver backstrap and uh, some of the beaver p pieces of the legs. But what I did, I took some of this sweet and smoky rub. I just poured a bunch in here in this quart bag and I just mixed it in with the meat because the meat's already wet as it is. So you mix it in there, let it sit in the fridge overnight. And uh, I'll tell you what, this stuff cooks into the meat. It, it, it stays right in that meat. So it tastes like a barbecue beef. But now I'm gonna just throw some butter in, get her frying. Let's get her done, I'm hungry. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here guys is uh, toss in some of this Land Lakes salted butter. Turn her on, I'm gonna put it on like medium heat. Let this butter cook down, and then we're ready to throw that beaver in. I'm not even going to rinse it. Like I said, after I let this sit in the fridge with that rub, it basically turns it into a barbecue sauce. And uh, yeah, it's pretty dang awesome. So as soon as this butter cooks down, I'm just going to dump this right in there. And yeah, it's going to be good. Just let it brown up, medium rare, like you would a, a real good steak. And that's what it's going to taste like. It's better than beef. All right, that's the sound I want to hear. That butter's all nice and cooked up hot now, like i said i'm gonna take this beaver it's already basically in a barbecue sauce because i threw in again grill mate sweet and smoky rub i just dumped a whole bunch in there with that meat i'm just gonna throw this in now, as soon as i get it in here i'll straighten these out because i want them to cook i want them to cook right like steak you know i don't want them all balled up or nothing these are the back straps, mostly. There's uh, back straps and then a couple pieces of uh, the leg meat. You can tell the back strap though, just a nice big chunk of loin meat. But yeah, big pieces of leg meat. Beaver's pretty amazing. I'm gonna let this just kind of cook here and simmer just for a few minutes let it brown up a little you can usually see when it starts browning from underneath as soon as i see it's browning i'll flip it over so the other side browns again the main thing with wild game you don't want to overcook it that's where everybody screws up and that's why most people don't like venison you really don't want to overcook things medium rare is probably the best way to go with 90 percent of your wild game so let's get this done i'm hungry man i wish you guys could smell this the whole freaking house smells just sweet and smoky just like it says all right i can tell it's browning up some so i'm gonna flip it look at that look how golden brown that's getting absolutely gorgeous i'll probably flip it again after i finish this side i always like to cook it just a little bit more but again you don't want to overcook it i've only been letting this go for I don't know, two, three minutes really. I'm going to let it go again for just a bit. And you can usually tell the, the blood continues to seep out of it for a while. But yeah, God, that looks good. All right. Just been going for a couple minutes here. Look at this to see how it looks. Still hasn't browned up much on that side. So I like to get just a nice beautiful sear on it you know get some nice golden brown crisp to the outside edge so i'm gonna let it go just a couple more minutes we'll see all right could be getting crispy here some of these pieces are super thick like these leg pieces are really thick so see that it's got a nice crisp that's what i like just get a little crisp on the on the outside edge 
just a nice sear. The inside is still going to be beautiful and pink. Now I'm just going to let this sit again for not even two minutes, man. Not even. Maybe, you know, pushing two and then I'm pulling them out. These are ready to go. My stomach is too hungry to be letting this go on much more. <laughs> Look at that, though. Nice, beautiful brown on the outside there. I never worry about undercooking any wild game. I'm going to tell you why. Wild game, I know, isn't going to have a bunch of chemicals in it, a bunch of other junk that some of this stuff from the store might have. This stuff here, this is good. And also... Bacteria wise, I know that I'm the one that prepared this. It wasn't sitting around in the sun. It wasn't kept out. You know, it was it was kept cool and everything was taken care of the right way. So I'm not worried about bacteria. I like to cook these medium rare. I want them to be nice and pink. Look at that. That right there, folks. Look at look at how beautiful that looks on the inside. That is a perfect cut of meat. I don't care who you are. That right there. Even if that was a, a regular beef steak, man, that that is perfect. It's tender, most tender, juicy, delicious meat. There is no game taste at all. It's awesome. And again, sweet and smoky is what I use today. I'm going to try something different on the next time, but this is really, really good. All right, folks, it doesn't get more redneck than that, really. You see, I got a, a beaver hanging up here. I got another one in the back. There's animals all over. Uh, but I wanted to show you here. I just finished cooking up this beaver. Gemma, get back. Gemma loves it. I gave her and Ruby some last time I cooked it, and they were just as addicted as I am. Now look at how perfect, perfect and pink. Nice brown on the outside. She's licking her lips. Little goober. But this is really good. Mmm. It's just so tender. Tender, juicy. I swear to God, guys, there is nothing. Wild game wise, or even in the store, nothing that I've ever seen that can compare to this. Beaver is outstanding. If you're out trapping or know a trapper, ask if he can share some of the meat because I'm telling you right now, you will not be disappointed. This stuff's amazing. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you get a chance, try it and let me know what you think about it. This season of LT Outdoors Trapping is brought to you by Bass Brothers Lures and Baits. They are located in Iowa and they carry some awesome lures and baits. You'll see me use them in this show. Now, if you want to order from them, you can call this number or check them out on Facebook. I'm going to take his car. This is like Grand Theft Auto.